Greetings, I'm Hurt Castro, coming to you from our state-of-the-art suspension development center in Colorado Springs. Today we're going to learn how to adjust the hose length on Avid hydraulic disc brakes. Here are the five steps. First, check the hose routing. Second, remove the hose from the brake lever. Third, determine the proper hose length and make your cut. Fourth, install new fittings. And fifth, reinstall the hose. Unless you've done this many times before, we sure do recommend that you read through this Avid Hydraulic Brake Guide, which is on the SRAM website as a PDF. Please print these out and read through them before you put your frame in the stand. Okay, enough preliminaries, let's get down to business. Since we're working with dot brake fluid, we're going to wear nitrile gloves and eye protection. First, take a moment to check the routing of the hoses since you can't lengthen the hose once you've cut it. Make sure the hoses are properly secured as well. If your brake has a hose boot, pull the boot away from the lever to access the compression nut. If the boot sticks, carefully pry up a corner with something not too sharp, like a zip tie, and spray some alcohol between the boot and the lever. The boot should loosen up and slide easily down the hose. Next, use a high quality 8mm open ended wrench or flare nut wrench to unscrew the hose compression nut. Now pull the hose from the lever, wiggling it if necessary. Dot fluid will drip from the hose. Whatever drips out will create air bubbles that you'll have to bleed out later. Finally, slide the nut and boot down the hose and away from the end where you'll be cutting. Do not squeeze the brake lever while the hose is removed. Okay, so now you determine where you need to cut the hose by holding it up to the lever in the position you like. Leave a gentle bend in the hose with plenty of length. Be sure to account for suspension movement and check that the bars turn freely with plenty of rotation in case the wheel ever gets spun around. Use hydraulic hose cutters to cut the hose. Now, while holding the hose firmly, Thread a new hose barb into the end of the hose using a T10 Torx wrench. A little dot fluid on the threads acts as a lubricant to make this go smoother. This takes a minute because these threads are really fine. When the barb bottoms out on the hose, stop turning or you can damage the liner. Now slide a new compression fitting, or what we call an olive, over the end of the hose with the new hose barb. First, push the hose firmly into the lever until it stops. While holding the hose in place, slide the olive and compression nut up to the lever. Now keep applying pressure as you finger tighten the compression nut until you feel it bottom out. While continuing to push the hose in, finish tightening the compression nut with your 8mm wrench. Then use an 8mm crow's foot on your torque wrench to tighten the compression nut to the proper torque. If your compression fitting is the shiny silver aluminum one, Tighten to 45 inch-pounds. If your compression fitting is the black steel one, tighten to 70 inch-pounds. Okay, you're all done and the hose is now the proper length. At this point, you'll need to bleed the brakes for optimal performance. Cutting the hose introduced a small amount of air into the system, so check out the Avid Hydraulic Brake Bleeding video.